that regard, there are laptops that are kept on respective tables, and Anna has assigned volunteers to assist in regard to those laptops. Barat is Barat. You're ready. You're ready. Yeah, there you are. Okay, very good. Barat is handling the laptop in the middle of the row. Euroslav, are you ready? Yes. All right. You're handling the tablet on the right side. Alina, are you ready? I am ready. Great. <laughs> You're handling the tablet on the left side. Marianne, the laptop on the podium. Marianne? Marianne. There you are. Marianne. <laughs> All right. And Anna has asked when you hear the click, that's the time to change the slides. <laughs> wow. So this is going to be an exciting presentation. And well, I'm sure of that. Anna did her first skydive last month, and she's going to share her exhilarating experience through her speech. Yes. I did skydrive. <laughs> Please welcome Anna in A very good evening, fellow Toastmaster, and most welcome guests. Yes, I did skydiving. How many of you around here have done skydiving? So many. And how many of you want to do skydiving ever in your life? That's so cool. The word skydiving has different impacts on different kinds of people. The first kind of people, they think it's totally a dumb idea jumping from a which is so high. These kind of people, they say, what is the point of jumping from an aircraft which is perfectly good? The entire act is horrifying for them. The second kind of people, they love skydiving. They consider life similar to relentless Mountain Dew commercials. And their body is craving for high adrenaline rush in their body. And the third kind of people are like me, who have fear from skydiving. But they think if they would be able to conquer their fear, they would be feel really nice and they would be moving out of their comfort zone. I did my skydiving last month. An entire experience was exhilarating. I had the best moment of my life. While doing my skydiving, I went through 12 stages of skydiving. And all those emotions were like for me throughout my life. <laughs> Just check the first slide. The first stage of skydiving. The first is I want to do skydiving. Most of the people they keep skydiving in their pocket list, and so did I. Few years back, when I told this to my parents, they were they never believed me until the last month when I literally booked tandem slot and told them. Click. Second stage of skydiving. Today is my skydiving day. <laughs> as long as you will book your skydiving ticket, you will be eagerly waiting for this day. You will have endless sleepless nights <laughs> thinking about this day, whether you would be able to do it, get scared, or chicken away. Click. Day 3. How is the weather looking at this stage? It's a beautiful morning. You will get up from bed. The first thing you will do is, nervously you will be looking at the sky. You will be counting one, two, three, four clouds in the sky with little breeze. And then you will be secretly praying to God, Oh God, please, Jesus is the so first. <laughs> but hopefully, nothing is going to happen. Think. Stage four. Am I signing my life on this stage? Well, this stage is the most scared stage. As soon as you will reach the reception, you will get a waiver where you have to sign the form that talks about death and liability. By reading the statement, you will already feel like you are already doomed. <laughs> Click. Stage 5. Are you scared stage? As soon as you are done with your form, your cameraman will come to you. He will take your random shot and ask several questions. The most annoying question is, are you scared? <laughs> I mean, any person who is jumping from a moving aircraft and 
any height would be scared. <laughs> and when second question he will ask, what is your last word before jump? <laughs> oh my God! You will see awful. Click. Stage six. Here comes my life science stage. At this stage, your instructor will come to meet you and greet you in some time. You will console your heart that he is going to make it. You will think that he is a trained professional and he has done this several times in his life. In five minutes, he will start giving you skydiving lessons. And it's very simple. Please learn. Okay? Cross arms, head back, knees bent, and jump. One tap on shoulder to open your arms. The second tap to bring your arms to chest. Knees bent for landing. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you will think, that's it. If anybody can dance, then anybody can do skydiving. Click. Stage seven. The universe now conspires me to jump stage. As soon as you will be moving inside the aircraft and the door shut, this is the time of no turning back and not freaking out. Because now the universe also conspires you to jump in the stage. You will get frightened, scared, and endless emotion will be thumbing in your brain. But as your aircraft will reach half the height, you will give up. Like totally give up, your brain will stop working. Click. Next stage. Stage 7, 8, I have to take a leap stage. This stage is a moment of truth. You are standing, you are about to jump, the air more than 200 miles per hour is on your face, your legs are dangling outside the aircraft and you have to take a jump. This stage is the most dangerous stage. A normal people will think on the stage like, what could be the consequences or after their jump? For me, I was thinking like, I'm such a moron. Wait, stay nice. The holy sh <laughs> is amazing. As soon as you'll be jumping, you'll be falling in air and it will be like so much air flowing with 200 miles per hour on your face. You are thinking, what's happening? There is so much high adrenaline rush in your body. You are unable to think what's going on. Your brain has given up. But whatever is happening, you are totally enjoying it. This is the new sensation which you have never, ever, ever, ever felt in your life. And it's mind-blowing. You are loving it. It's really hard for you to believe that it's happening and it's happening to you. Stay stand. Do I still have a face? <laughs> <laughs> Within a fraction of a second of your charm, your face goes, like completely goes. You will feel that it's numb. So much air will fill inside your cheek that it is unable to control your face. At one point of time, you will even think that your face is about to blown off. Next slide, please. Stage 11. After the quickest minute of your life, you will feel some relief when parachute opens. You will feel that is the best moment because now you can take a break. You can see all the surrounding outside. You cannot believe your eyes what you're looking for. That is the moment that you're going to treasure throughout your life. And you're going to love it. You will have a thought. I am alive and I made it. That is the best feeling in this world. Next slide, please. Stage 12. I am top of the world stage. As soon as your feet will climb on the ground, you will feel that you have made it. That is the best moment of your life. And you are alive to brag the tales of your first job. And it's going to be goddamn the best day of your life. You are going to live it throughout for your life. If someone will ask you whether you are going to skydive again, what will you say? Hell, yeah. Hell freaking yes! <laughs> <laughs> the fearless person may not live forever, but the careful do not live at all. All you need is 60 seconds of great courage and I bet 
you'll have the best moment of your life. So I would suggest that all Toastmasters should go for skydiving party someday. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they're having a good time. Over to you, Toastmasters. <laughs>